Maybe. Well, the camera needs to catch up. But hi. <laughs> How's it going? Awesome. <laughs> so that's me on the left. Uh, <laughs> Moke's in the middle. You might miss him. <laughs> We're really, really small. <laughs> We're Pikmin. What's yeah. up? Hey, there you go. Clandestine. I'm actually on the right. So do you want to introduce the game? Oh, yo, so... Uh, no, I'll just press start. There's a, there's a cutscene at start. But oh, what's yeah. up, everyone? I'm OKG. I'm so excited to bring this to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm here with... Yeah, I'm Jack. I'm kind of on the fringe of Pikmin 1, but no sense. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, I'm ready to start. So, uh, countdown. Uh, three, two, one, go. Hey, there we go. All right. <laughs> Let's go hype crowd. Exactly. Okay, so it's just a brief cutscene, but uh, it gives me some time to explain a little bit of the history of this run and why I consider it really hard. Mm. <laughs> um, so initially, uh, you could beat the game in nine days. Uh, you start off in the tutorial level, uh, basically get to the blues and grow as many blues as possible because there's loads of water in all of the other levels. Yeah. Uh, and then you just clean up uh, every, of the, every one of the main areas. It takes two days to complete. Um, but it turns out that every single one of those areas can be beaten in one day. And for every single one of those areas, it's ridiculously difficult. Yes. Uh, there's RNG, uh, especially in uh, the first level, actually. I'll go into more in depth into that later. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, the amount uh, that needs to go right for this run to be a success. Yeah. It's like the ceiling yeah. just got drastically higher and higher as time went yeah. on. But I mean, as you expect from yeah. any speed game, right? But to this game, oh, it's so much stress because there's so much mm. going on and so much needs to go yeah, right. Yeah, you have to be focused the whole time. I guess it's, it's, it's not unique necessarily to this game. Uh, and especially in this tutorial, it doesn't matter too much. I can just uh, autopilot it. But um, yeah. later on, there's moments where a Pikmin can just trip whenever it wants. And if that happens, uh, it's possible it just trips in front of an enemy and dies. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be growing a few extras, a few safety reds, a few safety yes. yellows, maybe a few safety blues. We'll see if I get lucky. Uh, but yeah, so... Because there's some times where even if you're playing like 100%, 100%, just Pikmin really like dying. Yeah. They're really good at it as well. So it has to be considered. So I guess we can explain the very basics of routing in this game. Mm -hmm. um, so the idea is limiting factors exist, which basically you need to complete them as soon as possible so that you can then move on to the next thing. Uh, yeah. And that's, yeah, so at the moment, the limiting factor is growing a few reds and then pushing the box. And uh, if you kind of uh, bring that up into a, a larger scale for the larger maps with eight parts, nine parts, <laughs> ten parts. It does yeah, get yeah. a bit complicated, um, but I feel like the routes are pretty much solved. Um, it hasn't changed in the last two years. Which is generally it, a good sign. Yeah, well, yeah it's a good sign. Um, th there's been some minor improvements and some major improvements in terms of uh, cutscene skips, which I'll get into much later. Yeah. But yeah, there's plenty to, plenty to talk about. I was about to say, the order of things, the order of business hasn't really changed that yeah, dramatically right. in the time I've known this game. So at the moment, I'm just speeding up this pellet. Uh, I'll pluck it, I'll pluck one Pikmin, and then I'll speed up again. So like uh, a basic mechanic in this game, there's like a minimum carry for a yeah. treasure or like a part to move. So you have to have the minimum number, but the more you have on top of that, the faster the treasure moves. So there's like quite a basic mechanic, but it plays a big factor, I think, a lot. That's right. Yeah, and also you'll hear this fanfare a lot. Um, it's because it's I'm holding the C-Stick all the time, and it's actually super optimal to just always have your thumb on the C-Stick. Uh, Pikmin kind of take a strange, a strange route. Uh, unless you're C-sticking or grabbing a, uh, grabbing a Pikmin. I was about to like say, this. I'm not sure if you can see his controller, but a pointer looks like he's playing a first-person shooter. <laughs> he's yeah. just using the analog stick and the C-stick like, all the time. But you kind of have to, because yeah. the closer you have your group together, the more you can do, I don't know, pretty much anything, really. So it is important. So that is a C-stick throw. Um, you literally just use the C-stick and make sure there's always a Pikmin right next to you. And if there is, you can throw <laughs> as fast as you can press A. Yeah, it's the same. It's like, what, one every two frames or something? Right, yeah, one every two frames. <laughs> Which is... Sick. Yeah. It's like, if you try throwing without the C-stick in this game as well, this is something they changed in later iterations. Mm. They really don't want to go. So, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's the C-stick is the biggest tool that you'll get. Yeah. Sometimes you even have to bring your entire hand up to press the A button while your thumb is on the C-stick. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's you, cool. You get some wonky yeah. grips in Pikmin 1. Cool. So right here, the limiting factor is actually this one pellet at the distance. So I start that first, and then um, finish up everything else. And then everything, yeah, it just comes in when it comes in. Uh. All right. <laughs> I was about to say, the early part of this game is really just like 
because your Pikmin strength gets exponential, really. Like, the more mm -hmm. Pikmin you grow, the more you can do, and then the more Pikmin you can grow from there. So, like, the start is inherently kind of slow, just from, like, a mathematical perspective. Almost. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but it's cool. Exponential yeah. growth. This does work great as a tutorial, actually. It, it goes over the basic mechanics really well. Mm. Uh, so right here, I'm waiting until that part gets collected, and then I'm triggering that cutscene, because um, pellets can sprout from onions during these cutscenes. Mm. Uh, so while this is playing, the Pikmin that are growing from the onion are popping out and saying hello. Yeah, sick. Because, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a key facet of like this game in general. Like We may have spoken it briefly before, but the, the name of the game is Multicaster. That's it. So like you want to be doing as much as possible at all times at the same time with the thing ideally that will happen last happening as early as you can do. That's right. That's cool. So yeah, this is the first part. Big news. <laughs> Pick up, no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pikmin AI is uh, pretty terrible in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's even a chance, just randomly, that a Pikmin will decide not to grab onto a part, and that will happen a lot. You'll, you, you should see it. Uh, in a good run, you know, you don't have many deaths from that, or you, you might end up leaving Pikmin behind, but that's why I'm growing extras. Yeah. Uh, but it, you know, I couldn't leave any behind, I could just save them here much no. later on. Right, uh, I think I've got Frankface Z emotes in this channel, and the one thing I want people to do, I, I have to ask for this. Please have a look at my Frankface face emotes and uh, have a look for Impact Sight. It's just, you see a little face on the floor? That's like an eye, a nose, and mouth. Yeah, it's a little smiley face. This is basically my reset emote. He's like, I, I would love doom. to see that. <laughs> I would love to turn on chat after I see this run. Just see and just see Impact Sight everywhere. I love the Thanks sort of chat. cruel irony behind that smile. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're back. Good job. <laughs> Welcome yeah, back. I heard that last run didn't go so well. Oh. Yeah. It's great. Smiling at you awesome. forever. But yeah, that's the first part. Mm. I mean, what, like a six minute tutorial? Oh, that was fine. Part? Mm. Yeah, it's a good time. Because that doesn't look like it really, and it's kind of hard to explain. It's pretty, as you get to the top level, you'll see it more, but it's very, very optimized. It's oh, yeah, like, absolutely. Like long throwing Pikmin in certain spots will save like seconds. Yeah, I guess we haven't explained that actually. Um, coming up in this next growth phase in the next level, you'll see a lot of long throwing, mm. um, which is basically just if you're uh, moving and then <laughs> throwing a Pikmin, that. Uh, yeah, it throws the Pikmin much, much further than you would normally be able to do. Yeah, you uh, get a lot of momentum yeah. on the throw. And so it's much faster. Throwing a Pikmin is much faster than running over there and then throwing a Pikmin. <laughs> there you go. Be easy days. So the first level that we're coming up to, Forest of Hope. Oh, God, let's talk about that then. The hardest one. That's uh, right. That's what I love about this game. The first thing after the tutorial is the most challenging part of the game. It's like, like pro what, the last one to be figured out that you could do in one day? That's right, Definitely. yeah. So Forest of Hope, I would call that like an 8 or 9 out of 10 in terms of difficulty. And then you also need RNG to go well. So uh, I'm going to attempt the sixth day at the marathon, and we'll see how well that goes. Yeah. To give you context for kind of the scale of this and mm. how crazy this guy is, there's five people in the world that have ever done six days in a single segment. So that means you finish every area neatly in one day. There's only five people ever that have actually got that. Mm. And in a marathon, I don't think I think it's been done once it, by yeah. yourself. Also. By me on pal. Yeah, on a Nisha version of the game as well that runs slower, so that's be very cool to see. But yeah, so part of why, like, what he's gonna be doing here is just growing as much as possible. So you can see over here, like, all this material that he's gonna be using to grow Pikmin. The numbers here are really important, and when you're first learning the game, you have to hit like a minimum threshold of reds. Otherwise, you just don't have enough manpower to get everything done for the rest of the day. So. Yeah, I also do need to flower them, uh, so uh, there's actually a trick coming up where I whistle Pikmin through the water. It looks really scary, um, but don't worry, they'll be totally fine. Oh, it does. Uh, yeah, so I, I, they need to be flowers for that, and that loses a lot of time. In the earlier routes, you would actually wait in Forest of Hope and grow all of your Pikmin into flowers, just so that you could beat Forest of uh, you wait in Impact Site, uh, just so that you could beat Forest of Hope in a day, and uh, it loses like 30 seconds to um, have to flower them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this day game. is so tight. You spend about half the day growing Pikmin, and then there's eight parts you also need to collect, which is crazy. Compare that to Distant Spring, uh, which is the last level, pretty much, uh, where there's ten parts, and you can spend the entire day getting them. You can just do yeah, that. So yeah, you, you can, can do you've whatever got, you want. You've got <laughs> free time, basically. Right, so this is RNG. So ideally, you just want the little yeah. grass nectar to come Just out. one. Come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew this if would happen. If not, there's backups. Yeah, there are backups, but... You, you hate to see it. I think this happened last time too. Oh. Okay, last pluck. Everybody's flowered. Okay, okay so that's a <laughs> yeah, that's a load off. Wouldn't have been the end of the world, but you you would hate to see it. <laughs> Sick. It would definitely be an F in the oh. chat. Right, that was a trip. 
Brilliant. So, when people pick me trips, the way Moke will sort of regain composure is to just dismiss the whole group. Sometimes. Sometimes you wait, sometimes you're dismissed, but then it like stops the trip animation and they come back into your party. So, you can sort of regain control, like it's not optimal, but having a pick me fall over is just bad news. Whoops. Yeah. So, here he's taking exactly 8 for the bridge, because it builds out at a certain speed, so by the time he's actually over back to this area later on, it will be pretty much built out in time. For this treasure that you can see maybe over there. I'm not sure if the camera actually pans to it. This is the yeah, scary thing. They're totally fine. Yeah, they're Don't fine. worry about it. No, it's no. not like if it was, you know, a few pixels wider, they're, they would drown. It, it, don't worry about it. Also, that's really hard. <laughs> like, I learned this game for like a couple days, because I play the sequel, which is way easier. Uh, but I learned this game for like a couple days. That is like not trivial at all. That trick is really hard. Because when Olimar pushes past a chick in the water, he kind of artificially lengthens their life. Right. Is my sort of understanding of it, which is really weird. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a newbie so, killer. Yeah. That's me, by the way. <laughs> the newbie. Plucked a few extra Pikmin just there so that I could have yeah. some more room to grow. And uh, a room for one error as well, which I already made, actually. No, yeah, all good. So you hear people pull four on that gate as well to sort of finish up the build out in the oh, same right, way. Right. So of course you want bug bodies and the Pikmin pellets of the right colour. They'll give you the most sort of, you know, bang for your buck. <laughs> so we should be looking for what, 77? 77 what? is what you would normally see in a PB or, you know, world, in the world record. record. But you're growing oh, yeah. roughly I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for about 78, 79. And li literally, by the way, 77 is the absolute minimum that you can get. And it just so works out, it's serendipitous that uh, the two kind of growth sections add up to exactly 77. Uh, yeah, it's actually amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste a little time to grow some extras. Okay. Yeah, cool. I think it's worth it. So you'll end on 78. Yeah, I'll end on 78. So that's one extra, and then I'll have a buffer uh, for if a single red dies. That's fine. Uh, but I'll also grow a couple of extras. All right, this is later on as well. Something I want to explain. Unlike most of the other games. Deaths aren't generally that bad, but here you really need all 100, mm. pretty much doing something at all times. So you'll leave some on the gate there, so you're going to have a working force of about 80. You really need those guys. Because <laughs> the treasures, as I said before, they have minimum weights, and you need to be able to carry all of them at the same time to sort of get that groove going. That's right. So there's one moment where the radiation, uh, it's, it's, like a, it's like a canopy. Uh, that weighs 30, then there's another one that weighs 20, and there's another one that weighs 30. So I do need so 80 need Pikmin at that point. And it's, it's possible that I can have some deaths. Also, I think, yeah, so for that. Also, grow extra yellows. <laughs> I'll grow extra yellows. Yeah, cool. Yes. Shouts to Jay Hawk. Yeah. He's watching. He's the uh, Wii world record holder. Mm. Yeah. Came up with a few important strats, which I'll get to in a bit. Yeah, they're actually really interesting as well, the new changes. Big fan. It's crazy how long this game's been going and how top-heavy it is, but you're still developing loads of new stuff. Absolutely, yeah. I think I've got about a minute to go until I'm pretty happy with my time. Right. There we go. There we go. That's so what yeah. I wanted to do. Those boys off to the side as well, they're used later on for the yellow growth phase, so... It's a kind of small detail that you wouldn't necessarily think about, but it plays a big role. Because sure. it's sort I of... You know, helps out that process initially to give you a bit more manpower to carry some of the stuff. Right, this is the best example of C stick throwing that you'll see. Oh yeah, uh, for a long time. I don't think the developers really wanted you to be able to throw this fast. Uh, no. You can tell by this guy kind of having a bad day. <laughs> but yeah, it's good though. Hmm. So you saw me actually dismiss after I plucked the Pikmin. You can just do that. A Pikmin that joins your party will not be able to be dismissed for a certain number of frames. Mm. And uh, that helps with optimization much later on as well. Um, I guess we've actually got downtime here if, uh, if you want to... If they want to uh, redo yeah, but how ready do they look? <laughs> <laughs> We're alright. We'll keep going. Yeah, I was about to. Do you feel free to cut us off? Yeah. Um, so, yellows, they can deal with bombs, which, uh, there, are, there are some gates in the map, uh, which basically block your pro- uh, block your progress. Hang on. Yeah. Maybe you good. Oh, and also, for anyone who's played the Pikmin games casually, maybe some of the later ones, you can actually switch your Pikmin. So if you're holding one, you can toggle which colour you pick. Uh, they kind of forgot about that yeah. in this game. You I can't do that. You can tell they forgot about it because they put it in the remake. <laughs> but there's, there's definitely a hidden art to being able to yes. just grab the correct Pikmin, the exact Pikmin that you're trying to grab. I was about to say, if you've got this big group of mixed colours, but you're like, I need a red. Yeah. But there's an art to it, as they say. That's what separates the top cut from the rest. So there, for instance. So he threw that red, that, that by itself was effort. And also to reshuffle the Pikmin, because when you grab a certain colour, the squad orders by colour. So that helps a lot. 
Yeah, brilliant. And it's something you'll want to keep mm, track yeah. of when you're I'll kind be of doing that through. all the time yeah. in the next level. So yeah, keep an eye out. <laughs> How's this noon? Oh, it's okay. I didn't grow extras. Oh? Oh dear. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. You're probably right. Dude, you should have reminded me again. Yeah, I, I guess so. No, we're cool. We're cool. So also, this throw here may look normal, but the Pikmin glitch out on the box there. Yeah, that's That's right. another sort of newbie killer. Another sort of nuance of the speedrun, which I think is really cool. Like, that, that throw needs to be spaced very precisely. So the thing, this guy, because he gets in the way of, I guess, some more treasures on the way oh, back. Yeah, yeah. But they don't wake up the ball ball. Yeah. I don't think they actually speed this up, do they? Right. There we go. This is actually a moment where if a pick and tripped, it would be a disaster. It would be but not great. So this is the first sort of raw RNG part, apart from maybe the nectar. That's right. So the Snagret has two ways that it can come up out of the ground. That's not good. Like that. That is very, very right. good. Sick. That is a one in three chance of coming up slow, and that means you get the quick kill on it like that, which is really great. That'll save a good amount of time and degree stress yeah, it's overall. seven seconds per cycle, just about. And then nectar. Let's and then go. Good nectar. Okay. So right. So go. yeah, I need both of those things to go well, otherwise yeah. I won't be able to be the game. No, that's actually in a day. That's a brilliant yeah. thing to ask for in a marathon context. So I'm a little bit worried now because I think I left a pick behind in the box. Uh, so, we're good. Do you want to check? But I'll be definitely growing extras. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. I've, uh, so I'm at 80 now. So a single death could uh, be disastrous. Yep. <laughs> so the, oh, dear. The stakes are higher than they've ever been, folks. <laughs> but yeah, no. It's... If there's anyone's hands you would trust to not kill a Pikmin here, though, in theory... <laughs> it would be J-Hawk. <laughs> yeah, it would be J-Hawk. <laughs> it would be J-Hawk. I heard that guy's pretty good. Uh. Cool. Alright, so this part here, kind of skirmishing with the yellow, sort of clearing out some obstacles, getting some stuff sorted. I'm going to do through. baby strats right now. Cool, yeah. Feel free. Because you can actually lose the run here. Yeah. Just like that. Easy, easy. Yeah, simple. So, I was about to say there are... I'm not going to make it. Ooh, mm. Probably not, maybe? No. Ah, okay. So, this is something that we're probably going to talk on when you get it the first time, but you can skip this cutscene for every single... almost every single part, theoretically. But um, it's by activating a text box for another sort of object in the world, it'll kind of cancel the cutscene. Well, cancel the... I don't know. It's hard to explain. We'll, we'll see it later. Yeah, right? I'll explain yeah. it in a bit. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, vaguely concentrate because of course um, yeah. if a pigment trips over or I, I don't know clips through the floor he's got to be ready be fine. so that guy waking up is intentional that's right so because now so oh, something I should mention here maybe briefly um, if an enemy isn't on the screen right. or within a range of a Pikmin really close it won't be loaded the game doesn't consider it as existing unless it's on screen so you'll see Moke zoom in a lot at like random times maybe really close and you'll think what's he doing He's probably trying to manipulate an enemy further away. It's a really big mechanic. And then of course if a Pikmin is nearby. Another trick that so many people have tried, tried to get <laughs> and just suck at. But yeah, no, that was, that was relatively alright. No bad trips. Okay, we'll need them later. <laughs> so he's C-sticking them onto there so he just has bombs. I'm just going to two-cycle this gate. I yeah. don't want to risk it. Yeah. Normally you'd one cycle this gate. Uh, so yeah, I might have missed out the area cutscene because of that. But don't worry about it. Yeah, um, about it's not worth risking the yellows. And I can still make it back in time. So Six. basically Six. he's throwing so fast that sometimes he can just throw eight. He could throw eight in such a brief space of time, but he instead did two volleys of four. Yeah. Which, you know what? Not the end of the world. In fact, pretty fast still. You have to be able to yeah, really C stick yeah. every single Pikmin right to you. It's it takes a, a lot what? more control than you press, might think. Pressing the A button eight times in half a second? <laughs> Maybe? Something like that? About that, yeah. Yeah. Alright, well this is actually looking like great pace, so if, um... Well, actually, I'm just going to see how that's going. I'm going to great pace. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Get a bit. Get sick. Oh, to be fair, that was pretty decent. Yeah, that was possible. That was possible, I think. Man, that was really weird. I stopped myself from saying the word heck. <laughs> I just don't feel like being a PG-13 bad guy. <sighs> okay, right, Armored Cannon Beetle. Let me explain. Mm, yeah, please uh, do. I'm going to load him in, the, in a minute, which will uh, basically trigger his AI to start moving around. Mm. Uh, and hopefully, if he 
turns and walks to the right. Let's go. That's yeah. exactly what I need. This is actually sick. That is very, very, very helpful. I also need to keep him deloaded, so I'm just going to stay over here. But he turned and walked to the right of the arena. That's so important, so I'm going to risk it. Uh, <laughs> Do there's it. always a chance in this game that you could get completely destroyed, um, but I'm going to risk this skip. I don't need to kill him, I just do this, deload it. So he, now he's off screen, deloaded, game doesn't consider him existing. That's right, get and this. I just run back. Yeah, and then we just run. Yeah, so sorry that I'm so zoomed in, you don't get to see what's happening, but... <laughs> but just trust uh, us, everything's totally fine, and nothing's going wrong. Yeah, I, I think I missed these cutscenes, but that's fine, dude. I'm so happy. Yeah, the ACB is like a really, really, really big deal. That that would just clean killer run, right? It cleans kill, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Or yeah. it would at least clean killer, yeah. you know, world record. That's like six <laughs> six minutes time loss if I start having deaths there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which has this is a uh, punishing game. Right, so this is Forest of Hope in a day, probably. Yeah. At this point. <laughs> so this is the hardest part of the sixth day, really. Yeah. I mean, getting this in one day is absolutely incredible, so... For context. Yeah. So all of those cutscenes you just saw, I can skip, and I do in my PB, but don't worry about it. We'll, we'll yeah. get plenty of skips later on. It's more about being situated yeah. at the right time. Right. Yeah. And I, I feel like when you're sort of out of phase with it as well, that never really helps. <laughs> so like if you miss one cutscene skip, that means you're probably a little bit behind the others, and then you start missing more. But here he's throwing a specific amount. So he's coming back to collect those Pikmin on the gate to finish out the 20 he needs for his treasure. That's right. Or well, part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pikmin 2 brains. Yeah, Pikmin 2 yeah. brain. Flash turns? Yeah. <laughs> the sparkly gem. But yeah, so that this bridge being built out at this time was planned and worked great. Yeah. That's that's more of a rooting exercise, mm. I think, than an execution thing, but it's still good to see. You know, this is actually the hardest auto-scroller in any game ever. Um, <laughs> so the eight Pikmin that I throw on this bridge, you can actually beat that bridge. And if you do, then anything you did doesn't matter because you, that was the limiting factor. You could not have gone any faster than beating those Pikmin on the bridge. Right, so it turns into essentially an auto scroll. Also, I nearly got that cutscene skip. That would have been very, <laughs> that very, been very funny. <laughs> I'm literally like three frames off it, maybe. Oh yeah, so for the thing that we'll see probably in the next map, I think at this point, uh, it is a frame perfect input, but recently, shout out to Jayhawk, found a way that you can sort of buffer every frame and sort of hit every frame to try and activate it. So it's still a timing exercise in terms of losing time, but but yeah, this is good. I think that's a clean, that's a clean, clean, one day. Uh, clean. Hell, hell yeah. Berry boys. Presumably we're we're like uh, the guys berry. Like forty seconds ahead uh, of not one, one day pace. Well, I have to sort this out. This is actually all good. Oh, that is all good. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna plug. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. That's it. This is all I need. Right, cutscenes. Yeah, probably worth skipping cutscenes. Something like this. There you go. So it's like just it's like pause buffering essentially. Nah. Nah. You have to be frame perfect. Yeah. But, um, That's fine. Yeah. yeah, so that was the first cutscene skip. That's sort of an instance of what it looks like. Mm. Has really weird effects on the game as well, Oop. which I think is really funny. Um, okay, so actually I got cancelled by the ship, but I won't go too, too much into detail. Yeah, there's but, uh, some also extraneous factors that can make yeah. it not work, but that's okay. Okay, that's Forest of Hope in a day. Yeah. So, I mean, no, yeah, that's incredible. smooth sailing now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You, lo you love to see it. <laughs> He was walking on a tightrope the whole time with a hundred stupid children following him, and it worked yeah. out, despite all the odds. <laughs> all right, well, uh, we've got some downtime if you, if yeah, you want to go I was ahead. Yeah, say this is a clean yeah, donation reading time. Chill yeah, out, we have off. a quick plug for our partner, the Yeti, who's been sponsoring speedrunning events for years, and they have awesome merchandise for us. So if you head over to the yeti.com slash ESA, you can pick up a shirt, get $5 per shirt to charity or $4 per pin. Lovely. There, there you go, 97. That's a good number, I think. <laughs> Going into... Yeah. It's substantially more than he would normally yeah. have. I mean, 92. Right. Yeah. The number that matters is 80 rights. 80 rights, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, dude, that's so many. <laughs> so, the Forest Naval. This area is very different in mood, mm -hmm. but still a very fun level. And this is where we get also the last type of Pikmin. Spoilers. <laughs> so, this is basically the last bastion of things that can completely ruin the run, but Forest of Hope is over. Um, so... Uh, there's there's one boss fight that I'm a little bit worried about, but I've got 80 Pikmin, so I'm, I can have three oh, deaths yeah. during the battle, so we're totally fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that could cause maybe a minute and a half time loss, which would eventually lead to me not being able to beat this in a day. But other than that, you know, it's pretty much yeah. smooth sailing to this extent. Um, at ESA, let's go. <laughs> so excited. Alright. Okay, I just so. need to slow down here to make sure everybody's following me. I've got a few buds. And uh, we'll kill some of these guys. We'll be using these corpses later, actually, for grind blue picking. I was about to say, as you'd expect with you know a speed run, like he's not going to be killing nah, something. 
He's not gonna be killing something if he doesn't need to or if it doesn't benefit him. So. <laughs> ah, thank you. That looks easier no. than it is. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty easy to be fair. <laughs> Don't worry, I've still got two extras. Yeah, that's true. See, that would be a good bit. Like, the extra slowly start dying off. Yeah. See, uh, killing Pikmin is not a meme. It should not be taken lightly. No, definitely not. <laughs> I was about to say, their lives matter a lot. Yeah. Unlike the game right. over. This is the largest C stick throw in the game. Yeah, what, you're just cleanly throwing like 90. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm also happy to say that bread bug enemy that was carrying a pellet, um, that's, it's called the bread bug, which is an awesome name, mm -hmm. um, but it's also a, a massive RNG component in this game, and I just handled it. You got a very nice Yeah, I, I, got, I got the nice RNG. So, yeah. So, so you don't have to worry about that yeah, later. So on. I'm literally just worrying about now BLL and snitch bugs, and then we're totally in the clear. Yeah. So enemies have like a weird cycle, or some do, that they'll walk around the map, and then the runners will have to play to that. So that's the first one, bread bugs in this map. They can be wherever, and then snitch bugs on the map that we get to later, flying enemy. Yeah, and there's two we'll of those, actually. Then. Yeah, and there's two of them. Uh, right. So I should be at uh, 52. So you need a precise number of Pikmin on this. Oh, way too many. Yeah, wait a minute. Is that all right? Yeah, that's good. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, I don't know why I'm asking. I just <laughs> do objective trust. We'll just check. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Okay, cool. Because that's the thing. Sometimes the counter for the treasures, as we were saying before, because of Pikmin AI, can be really, really, really slow. So we've actually moved off that that spring part, that big blue spring. Um, that uh, is actually a limiting factor, like I mentioned before. Um, I'm actually, at the moment, basically racing that to get back to a gate, otherwise I'll lose a lot of time just trying to chase it down to stop it, um, because I'm, I'm going to stop it from uh, moving on a bit. Okay. So, notice that he threw exactly 30 to kill this yeah. That was a boss fight, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Oliver. Alright, okay. Concentrate. Uh, so, yeah, I just need a couple seconds to fire, I guess. Nah. Well, maybe. Just There's an audio cue that I use. Okay, here we go. Safe. Yeah, nice. So here, if you shake them off, that, that's, that's a decent shake, yeah. That's so lucky. So basically, if you shake them under his head, then you're going to whistle the Pikmin off on top fighting him. So you want him to shake them quite far away from the center of the mass. But yeah, no, that's a really good fight. No deaths as well. So, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, I didn't expect to get this far without any yeah. major disasters, but I guess, you know, we're just... Although, pour one out for that guy who got eaten by the sheer grub over. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. Right, so gravity jumper is, I think, a lot further than I would normally... No, actually, it's no, yeah. totally fine. So this is what Murky was talking about before. He needs to whistle the Pikmin off here to continue on. That's right, I need these Pikmin later on. Also, whistle switches, very cool. I'm bad at pressing the A button six times, apparently. <laughs> God, this, why is this meme still going on? <laughs> oh, trip! There you go. So uh, actually, I would have. Yeah, I had to dismiss there because yeah. he would have gotten stuck behind the gate. Right. So unfortunately, I said killing Pikmin is not a meme, but I had to do that. I'm so sorry. Just don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, so I need 93 Pikmin in the map. No more, no less. Yeah. Well, less is fine, but um, because yeah. he's gonna when he comes in the blues later on, there'll be a certain amount that he needs to carry bodies and reach that critical mass that we were talking about. So I need seven blues exactly yep. uh, for this enemy right there to get collected. And after that, the things that I'm collecting now will be, uh, in total, 40 blue Pikmin. And 40 blue Pikmin, by the way, is the exact minimum. And I don't grow extras in this level. So if I have a blue death, then that's, um, well... Not <laughs> ideal. Not, yeah, not <laughs> ideal. <laughs> you can say that. Yeah. But dude, this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, this is going really well. But yeah, the blue Pikmin, pretty, pretty novel, really. They have mouths and can be underwater. <laughs> And they do slightly less damage as well. I guess that's something we didn't mention with the reds. Reds, in theory, hit harder, but it doesn't effectively matter because of how fast the mode is perfect. But look, they have little mouths. Yeah, they are, in my opinion, the cutest Pikmin. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yeah, so it's the third and last, like, main growth phase. Yeah, and then you, yeah, and then the boring growth phases are over. Yeah, exactly. And then it's just collection and finishing up and cleaning up the game. Yeah, man. I, I actually consider the rest of this run end game. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, not even halfway. Well, we're about halfway. Because I guess the points that we've gotten past would be like main kill points in yeah. runs. So it is kind of fair to consider it like that, I think. 
as long as I get... I, I just want to show off the area cutscene skip once. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's very true. It's a 12-second cutscene, and there's three of them, and you can actually skip all of them. I missed the last one in Forest of Hope, and there's one per main area. Uh, Is Forest of Hope the hardest one to effectively get, or are they all pretty? Oh, it kind of depends. They're all actually really unique, and it's, it, it's just rooted so that we can actually get them. It's, oh, right, super, yeah. it's super sick, but they're all really unique. So it's before, this is why we needed seven. Yep, this right. guy weighs exactly seven, so you need to carry this body back, because he's really good in terms of, you know, Pikmin carrying per Pikmin gained. Good stat in terms of growth phase. And there you go, so yeah. First treasure. So is keeping that gear off screen relevant? Mm. It is, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely relevant because uh, a part that's on screen has physics and the Pikmin can fly off it, it drops, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. But if it's off screen, then uh, it just chills, it just yeah. drops. I, I actually don't know what happens to be fair because it's off screen, you can't see it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, so this is actually, I love this rooting thing. If a Pikmin uh, finishes collecting something near an onion and you're near an onion, uh, they just join your party. That's so right now, if you look at the numbers on the bottom of the screen, uh, the 007, 007, that's me, um, by the <laughs> way, uh, I just blow my cover. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. um, but uh, that means uh, the number of Pikmin in my group. The uh, second number is the number of Pikmin in the field, and the third number is the number of Pikmin in total uh, that are in the onions and everything. I have to wait for this blue. You yeah, have to move out of okay. the way. But I should be able to go for the area cutscene skip. Good stuff. But yeah, no, that is a cool little rooting exercise. And also, that's the bread bug, by the way. He died earlier, and he dropped his goods. <laughs> Alright. Alright. This is it. I'm just gonna start it early. Yeah. Alright, I got it. That was good. I was about to say... Uh, <laughs> well, it's a bit close, but actually it should be fine, yeah. yeah so, that's, that's both of those cutscene skips, um, which are... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a clap early moment. Um, they're technically frame perfect, but... Because, a yeah, Jayhawk's a legend. Essentially, there's there's a way to buffer them, um, and that's... I'm not sure of exactly the, uh, the, the frame... Uh, yeah, the frame, frame data on it. Yeah. But um, I, I just need to make sure, actually, that was the... So you're collecting those? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's good. So, area cutscene skip? Yeah. There you go. So, there's this weird mechanical reason for why, but if you basically skip two treasures back to back in a very specific instance, then you can skip an overall cutscene which right, summarizes right, the right. whole area. Yeah. It, it basically trips the, it tricks the ship into thinking that you've got a different number of parts than you do, and a cutscene is supposed to play on a specific number of parts. So, if you can trick the ship, uh, then yeah, it, it stops playing that cutscene. It just never happens. And 13 free seconds. That's right. Well, it's it's 12 seconds and then 7 seconds for the other cutscene, so it's about 30. Oh. If you get both. Could even better. Yeah. And this saves exactly one second. <laughs> I, I timed it. No! It no. now loses time. No. Wait, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I was about to say, walk around. The walk of shame. <laughs> oh. The walk of shame. Oh no, I lost 5 seconds. Oh. No. <laughs> but yeah. It's funny that that saves one second, because Leaf Pikmin... I, did we even mention it? It's such a fundamental yeah, thing. Yeah. Leaf Pikmin, really, really, really slow. That's the main reason we're flowering it, because, you know, Pikmin speed is very, very important. They don't do more damage, but they're slower, so big distinction. Oh yeah, something I should mention as well about the uh, treasure cutscene skips. The music's gone. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you may have noticed the music's pretty much absent, it's just sound effects now. Yeah, no fanfare from uh, C-Sticking. Yeah, the uh, game's that's really... That's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. The fanfare, <laughs> it's cute, but a bit yeah. taxing. Uh, but yeah, the game really doesn't like it when you skip the cutscenes. It's like, what happened? Where are my audio channels? You can actually lose almost every sound effect. So the whistling, the sea stick, the, the, the sound effect that Pikmin make when you throw them. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, can actually right. go that deep. And usually on a good pace, you will. by the time you get to Distant Spring, all of the sound effects will be gone. Oh. It's actually brilliant. Anyway, so I'm, I'm that, that right there is a bit of Pikmin management to make sure uh, that the yellows go on the bridge, but I keep the blues and reds with me because I have another part that's in the water and then I need to whistle switch. Um, though uh, the bridge, I made sure that there was a, a minimum of 41 Pikmin on it. Um, because the way that bridges work in this game, uh, the programmers, I, I don't know, maybe they were just a bit lazy, uh, but they decided um, to make bridges work in, uh, in ranges, not in, uh, in a proportional sense, so that every single Pikmin that you put on increases the speed at which a bridge is built. Uh, there's just a certain range, so yeah. 41 through 50 will be built in the exact same speed. Uh, but so because I did that, the bridge was done before I got there. And this, I love this mechanic. So you just grab a blue, and then you just dismiss into there. Your yellow's here perfectly, and ooh, whoops. <laughs> they dismiss in the order that they were standing, right? So. And so here's, uh, I already did another bit of uh, a whistle switch, but here's another element of the whistle switch. Um, I'm zooming in here just to avoid the physics, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so this is a whistle switch. Like I said before, if you whistle a Pikmin into a party, uh, 
it, there's a few frames before um, it will be dismissed when you press X. So you just press X and the Pikmin that you whistled you join you and the Pikmin that you didn't whistle, they leave you. They leave you. Brilliant. <laughs> It's a really neat mechanic. It's, yeah, it's so smooth, uh, especially when you're executing this game, you know, at, at PB pace or, yeah. or you know, or regular pace or whatever. It feels so good, uh, indescribable, really. <laughs> I would definitely recommend it as a speed game. I mean, it's a hell of a drug. Yeah, but it's a uh, no joke, absolutely no yeah. joke. The learning curve is the steepest of all games by far. All right, so that's what I need 40 Pikmin for. It weighs 40, uh, and I can get it out of the water. So here, these guys being that's lured right. yeah. very, very specifically. Mm -hmm. If you leave yeah. them with the treasure, the Pikmin having it will have a bad day. So, all planned. Chill. Yeah, exactly. So now we're just sort of... What's left to clean up? I, I have to wait. No, nothing. It's just the Iron Jet. Uh, so I just have to wait for this to come onto land. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Got you. Yeah, this is the last whistle this switch This is a sign that you've probably been going decently fast. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the, the quarter bell just happened. And so we're all good. Sick. It's because now he needs to take blues to do other parts. Right. Yeah. So a neat little whistle switch. Alrighty. So is this now you opening up the route on the side to let the treasures through? I believe. Uh, yeah, so yes. just the one. That's what I need these two yellows for. <laughs> what a trip. <laughs> that was, yeah, very well timed. That was a great trip. Yeah, so the yellow's here. This treasure can only take a certain path back, so he has to unlock that now, basically. Because everything else has been going back in quite a clean way. Yeah, so so yeah, I, that's okay. the, basically this one, if you do everything right, is the limiting factor, like I said before. Right. Uh, so I, I need to just run around, make sure that this gate is down before it gets there, uh, and then that part should be collected last. Therefore, you would expect it to be the slowest thing. Yeah. Right, exactly. So I need to speed it up the most. Which is good. Because <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. All right. So, so yeah, here, as you see, the, the Pikmin normally come up here and act a bit confused, like, where do we take this now? I don't get it. But the gate comes down sort of neatly as the treasure's rolling up, in theory. Right, so now there's a bit of waiting. There you go. Um, I guess while I go for these cutscene skips, uh, yeah. Good donation. Yeah. We have uh, two more donations. One donation by Griffin116, who donates $20. What's up? Saying, wonderful event so far. Had to stay up to watch Pikmin run when I saw a monkey cheese name on the schedule. <laughs> good luck on the run. Ooh, thank you. And we have an anonymous $50 donation with no comment. So thank you for the generous donations. Wow. Let's get all four. Let's get the, the quattro. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's on the easy one, too. How about we don't? Okay. <laughs> Just get them on the ship. Yeah, I'm feeling the trio. There's actually a, a, a it's a two-frame window on parts and a one-frame window on the ship, but. Um, yeah. okay. There you go. So that's the trio, and that's that's that done. So there you go. A notch before the day would have ended. Notch and a half, yeah. Notch and a half. Is it notch and a half? Sick. Yeah. This guys, All crazy. Right. <laughs> Incredible quality. Yeah, I'm very happy with how this is going. Like, I could have only really... Uh, I think my PB was only maybe, in terms of gameplay, 30 seconds. And then I lost a lot of cutscenes, but... Yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. I, yeah. I just wanted to show off cutscene skips. And I, I mean, I've done that enough at the area moment. Area cutscene yeah. skip as well. Ooh. Yeah, so everything is a bonus. Mm -hmm. But really, actually, um, you should be getting between 18 and 22. Like, 18, you can always attempt. And then yeah. there's, there's 22, uh, up to 22 parts that you can sometimes attempt. So if things are going really well... Mm -hmm. The right. cards fall really well, then yeah, you can. Okay. All right, the last area. In theory, the hardest, but kind of the easiest yeah. one to speed run. Right. But that the hardest one to clear, um, mm. in terms of a casual runner yes. or a casual player. Um, it, it kind of depends what route you're doing because it, it, it's the hardest day in the eight-day route, and then it becomes the easiest day in the six-day route. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh yeah. Also, we're back to impact site to yeah. collect another treasure and grow some blues. There's only, yeah, there's only two parts in this level, yeah. Um, but yeah, you have to come back. You can't get it on the first day at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I think it's crossed no, something no happens. But, but also, coming back here is really useful because you'll grow a lot of blues. That's right. There yeah. is a treasure on this map that's incredibly good for Pikmin carrying it to a amount of Pikmin grown. So very, very, very good. We'll see that later on. It involves some aggressive sea stick throwing, if I <laughs> Oh, yeah. Recall. Very aggressive. You do need to be quite quick. Mm. So there, that grabbing a yellow was quite specific as well. You have to go back through the group and kind of individually pick them out from the back. Yeah, so you see the clam on the top right? That is actually now dead. That's the treasure. Or, well, uh, that's the object. Object, <laughs> the, object the that food. goes to the onion, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can one cycle these. Yeah. Shouts to we. Yeah, really good. I was about to say, that's um, 
I was about, it's not that tight, is it, in terms of C-stick throwing, but... But it's a, it's a possible choke point. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to speed this up by one. Beautiful. Yep. Okay, so there's a swag shot. Let's see if I can go for it. Oh, if you get it. If I get this, everybody has to donate. Oh! oh. No. There you go. No, no one donate, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> d d d yeah, okay, totally. ruined Christmas. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> No, it's a bit of a meme. But no, it's a good shot though. Yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. I was pixels off. I mean, I know. That was I, RNG. I was convinced too. Don't worry, man. <laughs> awesome. So you're taking out the reds here so the pl the seeds don't actually come out of the That's onion. That's right. This They'll is just a really, grow inside. Yeah, it's a really clever idea that, you know, you can only have 100 Pikmin in the field. So if you take out a few Pikmin as buffer, you can then withdraw them from the onion and yeah. then, you, you know, you don't have to pluck any Pikmin whatsoever. It's just sort of mechanical knowledge. Mm. It's cool. And then we have to connect to these guys, but if we don't get the nectar from the grass, it's not the end of the world. I've yes. seen it happen twice despite being such yeah. low odds. That's one in 5,000, by the way. Yeah. Uh, in the, the next three patches what the that you that get I... no nectar. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> it's like point... It's like 1% here, and then the next grass would be another 1% oh, on top good. of that. And then the next one is like 50-50. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I probably shouldn't be... No, don't worry wishing about damnation. that. No, there's plenty of time for me to get the 1 in 5,000 and have to reset, even though this is not don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Brilliant. Yeah, I was about to say, you'll usually get it in the end, but it's yeah. nice to get it really fast because then you'll get the cutscene. You can get the cutscene skip, can you? Yeah, you can get the cutscene really skip fast. in this level. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> 40 minutes. Let's go. It's actually, uh, this is pretty decent. This is like 58 pace. Oh, that's actually pretty uh, good. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there you go. We're coming up to that level we were sort of alluding to earlier. Mm. So. So I, I think that's a good way of summing it up. Maybe the hardest to clear, but the easiest to do fast, as long as you're clearing it anyway. Right. Yeah. So like the snitch bugs, as we'll talk about in a second, they're sort of fidgety. Mm. Yeah. I think with the, the state that the levels are, um, they're all challenging in their own way to do at the level that you require to go fast. Yeah. Um, and somewhat equally. Um, but it's just that, of course, Forest of Hope has the many RNG sections and you have to be constantly under control. Yeah. Uh, and then also Forest Naval has the slight awkward matters and a single bit of time loss is pure time loss. I like to talk about um, uh, compound time loss, yeah. which is basically um, time loss that if you get it, you then lose more time because you can't then catch up uh, with yourself. Yeah. Uh, and this level is actually... There's only a couple of instances of it, so it's like, you know, it's, it's a super chill level. It's like the route to roller coaster. Yeah. Well, it's like the route to train. And if you miss the first one, right. then you have to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I just have to count. <laughs> Come on, man, not that hard. Cool. All right. So yeah, this is why we do the blues, by the way. And that's why we do the things the order we do. Because this area, very, very, very water filled. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you need blue Pikmin for, I think, 8 out of 10 parts. I was about to say, we're basically blue only with the cameo guest of yellow Pikmin that use bombs. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, blues so are at, definitely at, much At this point, yellow Pikmin value is sort of depreciated. Very low, yeah. Bit. I can have yellow death just fine. Whereas in Forest of Hope, yellow Pikmin are gold dust, essentially, because you need them. Right, right, right. So here, he's building out a bridge again in the sort of range to make sure that he comes back in the right That's time. right. The correct range is 41 again, and that's exactly how many Pikmin I threw on there. So here he's zooming in to sort of manipulate an enemy further down the line, and it'll sort of set the position where it is right now so that the path the treasure takes that comes from it is faster. So it, the treasure's gonna fall out of this big purple guy, and then it'll come, yeah, way faster if you lower him over here. Well, not way faster, it's the only way that it's safe, because the other oh, way, yeah, no, yeah no, the no, other course. way, there's all of those, yeah. those enemies you see right under the five, the day five, um, there's loads of those if it goes <laughs> the other way. But, well, I guess it's faster yeah. than all your Pikmin died. That's true. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so as I say, another really good use of like deloading enemies. But that one's almost like rooted in, yeah. essentially. It's, cool. it's, uh, it's not necessary. Uh, mm. I think, I'm not sure if it's just me who does that, um, but it's, it's actually a way to completely manipulate that enemy into, into right. you know, working for working <laughs> So if there you. happen to be any sort of up and coming Pitman one yeah. speed runners in here, there yeah. you go, take note. <laughs> All right, so of this entire run, you see me killing almost no enemies. But, and this is another example. I'm just literally doing that. Uh, and then the, the part does go by, by the way, and there is a backup for yeah. if there's like a 1% chance that my Pikmin could get killed. He's just beautifully um, setting their position so that they don't right. cause absolute disaster yeah, for any treasure, absolutely. in theory. <laughs> so yeah, just setting a trip. Okay, so, snitch bug. Uh, this is an issue because the blowhook is here, so I'm going to kind of lure the snitch bug one more time this way. So these enemies are on like a sort of random global cycle across the map, and where they spawn has a high level of variance, essentially. Right. So finding them and eliminating them as early as possible is really good, because if they take any <laughs> Pikmin off a treasure, it's over. Like, the treasure stops moving, you don't have the minimum amount, so bad news. 
They're just a pest in general. Yeah, they are absolutely the most annoying enemy in the game. Hands down. And there are many annoying enemies in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The snitch bugs are just... They're militia, yeah. But like speedrunning purposes, they are militia. Right. You, you, you essentially have to play through all of that impossibly difficult stuff uh, and get uh, so many cutscene skips. And then on top of that, if the snitch bugs are bad, well, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, then go to hell. <laughs> I'm right. playing really consistently. I'm pretty yeah. chuffed with how I'm going. And also, Bridge one snitch bug down, one left, and then it's smooth. So yeah, I was about to say, they're sort of a... They linger on the conscience of a Pikmin speedrunner. Because <laughs> they have the potential to just cause mass inconvenience at any moment. And inconvenience equals time off. <laughs> so that's a safety growth. Um, for the final boss, uh, it's, it's good to have extra blues. Um, just for the final level, I'll explain later. But uh, so that those uh, enemies are actually worth four blues, so you can grow up. Uh, and also, I'm probably going to be leaving behind a couple of blues here. Like I said, yeah, leaving behind Pikmin, it's not great, but uh, you have to do that because I can't save them. I don't have the long whistle. So. Yeah, which is a mechanic in the Wii version. Right, right. Uh, shall I go for the stupid cutscenes? No, it's already happened. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> awesome. Oh, pardon me. Lovely. Does it remind you every time there's a hundred Pikmin? Uh, every single time. Wow. Uh, in okay. uh, in any level. <laughs> so like once per day. So that Wally Wog's position has now been set yeah. off screen, so he won't interrupt with the treasure. Well, he will actually attack, but it should be totally fine. Yeah. They'll navigate past him. Right. And that's just <laughs> nice that's bro. the one cycle that I wanted to do in Forest of Hope, but it's much easier on that game. Wow. So yeah, there you go. So he won't actually get past. But luring it to where it was was important. Because if it was right there, then. When it jumps up, it like pushes Pikmin over, I think. So, what's called cool, cool problems, for sure. I'm just gonna collect this now for safety. It's probably faster to leave it. Just frame Ooh, perfect. Oh, yeah, just one frame perfect. No, no, no problem. No problem. Yeah, it's got a visual cue and it's a 30 FPS game, so I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A two, I'm a two not, frame. Yeah, it's not. It actually is no problem. <laughs> it should be not always consistent, but you should be able to get it. Oh Pretty man, consistent. how is this so good RNG? Nice. But this is actually totally fine. So I guess I'm happy. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I was about to say, because you kind of want these guys to be away from any enemy that will just come over and ruin the fight, essentially, right? I might even be able to do a swag strat. Um, of course. Please do. Okay. Please. You got, if, you're, <laughs> if you're given the opportunity to do a swag strat. The people beckon. Right. <laughs> you must. And also, you might be able to tell, can't hear the sound of whistling or throws anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's all game, gone. Game really didn't like that. So here they just... So the limiting factor in this level uh, at the moment is the um, is the part that's past that bridge. Uh, it's the top of the ship, right. and I need it. Uh, need it. Right, but I need to start it as soon as possible, basically. Oh, two and trips. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Come on, get it together, guys. <laughs> yeah, they definitely uh, decrease the amount of tripping in subsequent sequels. <laughs> I think they got some user feedback on that one. Yeah, it matters much less too. Not from us, but it would have been from us. All right, cool. Last guy getting his bomb, joining the crew. About to cause some mayhem. <laughs> <Good. laughs> no sound effects with time. I know, I was about to say. No, kind of no sound effects with time. Really, really spooky. But adapt, overcome, evolve, etc. Et so that's the thing. It sounds like a cute little you know, glitch or quirk, but it's actually kind of annoying. It's something you need to play around. Pikmin follow you when you whistle them, hey, even in the war. Yeah. I was about to say, like, yeah, speedrunner. <laughs> okay. So this is the second Arbor Cannon Beetle. We actually kill this one because he has goodies. <laughs> there you go. Perfect so minute two. Headshot into... Yep. Uh, it's better assault. to attack him in this exact manner. Oh, a bit of lag. Um, but uh, essentially, it makes the part go much closer to the exit, where it's exactly where you want it to go. Uh, and then... It takes much less time to walk around the map. Yeah, because enemies on, yeah. with treasures in them can still be useful because they'll carry a treasure to where you need it to go anyway. That's right. So it's helpful. So we do that earlier as well with the uh, puffs. Yeah, the exactly. Mushroom that, that was that. What that whole manipulation earlier was about. Mm. Okay, and then we got thirty pigmen for part coming up. So as you say, just setting the position, keeping you off camera. It's you know similar mechanics throughout, but it's like making sure mm. that everything is set in yeah. place neatly. You do so many Wallywog manipulations. You might think it's probably faster at this point. Nope, it's still not. To, to ever kill a single one, 
yep. you lose so much time. So it's just always better to, to just... So this guy waking up, intentional. Yeah. yeah. So um, wake, I wake up that guy. Uh, it will be attracted to the uh, blue Pikmin that's in the, the bomb area, but it won't be able to eat the Pikmin. Who is uh, safe, by Totally the way. safe. Very safe. Yeah. So when he reloads next, uh, it will... Um, yeah, both of them will go straight towards... They'll oh, just kind of home in on that yeah, blue yeah, yeah. Pikmin. So I can even do it now, actually. You'll see. Them. Yeah, so they're both going towards <laughs> the blue Pikmin. And there's a part oh, later on that I need to collect. Another great trip from that boy there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute mechanic. I just I wish it wasn't in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost, actually, so many runs to tripping. But it's, a, it's kind of a cool mechanic. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> like, I'm done with it now. <laughs> Come on. It's like, car guys, get it together. All right, anyway, shout-outs to... Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> the correct number of Pikmin. <laughs> right, swag strap time. See if this works. No, I still need to set up the, the yellows though. Oh, like okay, you can yeah. actually clip up that ledge. Uh, right, so this is the one important gameplay glitch in the game. Yep. Um, but I'm not going to try the swag strap because I, I've just realized that I need to set up these. He's yellows. setting that ball bear position to do something that That's hopefully right, so will just happen. Deload it, and then uh, if I attack like that, oof, oh, no, okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. This is awkward. Don't worry about it. So there is actually a yeah. pretty consistent way to get that first try. Um, but when you miss it, you're sort of out phase with the whole right, operation. And yeah, it does yeah, get yeah. a bit fiddly, but it's, it's fine. I mean, it's good. Yeah. I was about to say, the first timing is relatively consistent. Yeah. So actually, um, it, what the game prioritizes is your X and Y coordinates on the ground. It doesn't prioritize your height. So if you're forced into a wall, the game is like, well, he is in this position on the map. I must keep him in this position so it just finds the next most stable ground. <laughs> yeah, it poops you up. It's that's brilliant. why you're already out of the map for like a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but that's all you need. Uh, it skips the, the puzzle where you, you normally have to grow some extra yellows there uh, and then use the high throws from the yellows yeah. to get it down. But and yeah, don't worry about it. Thinking about the context of getting all the treasures in one day. Ah, the trip. Slow. Did trip. I thought I could save it. But, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I thought it would be fast enough. But I thought it would get up. But this is a 15 weight part, so yeah, as I say. Uh, actually, 19 is more consistent, probably. Well, oh, hey, there's a bit of a glitch as well. Hmm? This run is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> so, it always happens about marathons. Yeah. Bring out the personality of it. I haven't. I've seen everything that's happened before, but I would love to see a never happened before. But oh, yeah. probably not right now. <laughs> Pour one out for the snitch bug, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Having a terrible day. All right. So another treasure here. The lightest one in the game. That's right. Yeah. The light. <laughs> I'm keeping zoomed in here because uh, that uh, the ball bear that I used to get up the clip uh, and clip out of bounds. Ooh, I could have got the cutscene. I should have, I should have that, zoomed though. out. Yeah, yeah no, that would have been good. Um, but yeah, no, I was keeping zoomed, out, uh, zoomed in to avoid that bread bug going back to its home. Uh, sorry, ball bear. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, the ball bear's <laughs> live. So it could have come back in and really messed some stuff up if you loaded it again. So yeah, here they are. The blue, very safe and doing a fantastic yeah. job. <laughs> it's kind of awesome that that's in the game again. Um, also, that one's following me a bit, but it should be. Yeah, fun. I was about to say, you could just load him and then he'll look at the. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to keep him con constantly loaded now, actually. Yep. Good call. But see, even this is like, you know, things you need to consider. Loading enemies is really important. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's just a, an idea that the developers had to save lag. It's not unique to this game, there's plenty of games, yeah. older games, that, that do that. But for um, speedrunning, a really, really fun mechanic. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> uh, very cool. Yeah, actually, lag happens here, so I need to keep zoomed in. That's the only reason I'm zooming in right now. Uh, and cutscenes, oof. Uh, yeah, a little bit slow. That's a shame. I actually would very much like to stop the Ionium Jet, and I should still be able to. Right. Um, because this is for the area cutscene skip. Mm. Very close. So, yeah, yeah we're going to be doing that thing again where you get two treasure cutscenes back to back, and then we'll skip, hopefully, a wider cutscene for the area. That's right. So I left that there, actually, um, because it's basically the idea that you need to have two things happening at once. If I had just waited for it, I would have had just pure time loss. Yeah, but if exactly. I Ooh, that was a fiddly one. Yeah. Oh, but awkward. good adaption, though. Like, getting that is really important, because it means you knew the parting. Okay, so setting this up is... Oh, no, yeah. Was that the fanfare for the ATS, or...? No, no, no. The no, ATS is just the fanfare for our collection. Two. Cool. Right. So here it is. That might be a bit too early, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, no. But it's consistent. I just messed yeah. up. Oh, well. Also, that That's blue fine. is having a, a field day on the treasure there. <laughs> yeah, get it when it's yeah. harder. That's good. So, what do you think is... So, this is the area cutscene mm. skip. where The one we skipped before. 
Oh, this is the area cutscene. <laughs> I'm so used to just saying we're skipping it. But we're not. But yeah, the ship's almost done now, essentially. There's one little sentimental piece left that we're going to get. That's right, the last one. So you might be wondering why I'm doing all parts. Uh, it's actually the any percent version of this game is equal to the 100 percent version of this game. So cool. That's what any yeah. percent means. Um, the quickest way to end the game and get to the credits is to collect all the parts. If you didn't, you would have to just go to sunset and watch this cutscene and land in the next you would area. Watch 30 days right, of cutscene. Yeah, so exactly. The 100 percent and the any percent, same thing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> so you have both the GameCube world records then. Any percent and 100 percent. That's right. Want, there you Technically. Go. <laughs> awesome. So this is so oh, sick. No, the blue. This is looking like maybe. No. But yeah, definitely sub 58 if everything goes well from now on. So the last level, kind of one of my favorites as an external observer, because it's been optimized so brilliantly, like recently. That's another Jayhawk-ism. Mm -hmm. So I, we said that guy's name a lot, but he's very important to this game. Yeah. So. Um. so yeah, the final trial. <laughs> For anyone who's played this game, you know what's coming up. And you might get some sort of cathartic release from seeing how he fights the fight final boss. You might. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the last thing that can mess up, but I'm just going to concentrate and just yeah, do exactly. it. Yeah. Right, all right, so th this, is, this is all new. This is like uh, a month old, this strat, where uh, if you hold down, then you can withdraw your victim faster. They're running this way. Actually, I've got nine, so I'm going to keep a couple yellows here. Or just one, I guess. Uh, and then I just whistle them, this and they're on this platform just fine. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's new to me, sorry. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen do that yet. As I say, like the top heavy runners in this game are still optimizing it brilliantly, which is really cool. Hopefully more to come. Hopefully more to come, exactly. Oh, Just resetting them so that they'll go on the bridge. Yeah, that is Pikmin it up. I so will throw another. For context, what they used to do, he used to throw them to the platforms there, and it would just take time just to specifically get them there. So it's great. So yeah, bombs are the name of the game for this map, really. Like Using them in all of these situations is just key. Yeah, so you long throw, it's a combination of a couple of mechanics, uh, and then actually I'm killing these Pikmin, sorry, it's optimal. <laughs> One more? Hello? Got stuck. Uh, and then Your my long throw remember these. It. Remember, you have to bump into them. I was about to say, if you throw a Pikmin with a bomb in it, and you whistle them, they drop the bombs. So every time you see a Pikmin that he's thrown with a bomb, you have to kind of nudge them to get them back. You can't, you can't scare them while they drop the bombs. <laughs> it's a good way of remembering it, I guess. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this isn't great pace actually because uh, you can beat this bridge. That li that's the limiting factor. Right. Yep. Um, but oh come on. Man. <laughs> it's just not with the program. It's just not with the program. So, yeah. This is a super awkward setup, so I, I kind of need to yeah. get this. It's like a few Oli Ma widths. That looks good though. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. No, actually he's gonna he's gonna waddle. That's fine. Oh no, it was perfect apparently. Let's just do this now. Definitely. So yeah, this bomb strat is a relatively new development. Super you can actually two-cycle him, basically, really cleanly. And it's like really fast as well. He'll go for the bombs like immediately. And you'll set it off and then start going again. And as you can see, <laughs> he's just getting the damage so early, so fast. Like he starts throwing so quickly and then this entire stun animation happens. Brilliant. Yeah. No, that's it, it looks like. Very, very good fight. That was like confidently dead as well. So that's <laughs> that's the final boss. Uh, there's a bit of lag here. Last thing, and and there it is. Yeah, done. God, that was a brilliant run. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a sick yeah, run. I'm so happy I could show this off. Incredible play. Incredible oh. play throughout. Well done. I love the speed game, and you should too. Yep. Uh, it so, doesn't love you though. Yeah, it definitely doesn't love you. I actually hates you. <laughs> you know, it's like it's a cute relationship. It's like a cat. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so yeah, I mean, this is just the final collection. Yeah, we yeah. just have to. You know, just it. go through the formalities. Oh, get the fireworks, can you? Uh, Probably not. <laughs> I could have actually just. Yeah, done, I could have reminded you to do that. Oh well. But yeah, so this is Olimar's little piggy bank. I mean, I have to go for the swag, though. All the moolah. The final, the final cutscene skip. By the way, time is coming up in literally five seconds, but I'm going to get this, this cutscene skip. Because swag. Time. <laughs> 57 34, that man. That is incredibly good pace. <laughs> I mean, as you can tell against the estimate, right? <laughs> wow. Really, really good play. So yeah, Sick. brilliant. I mean, uh, yeah, let's let's plug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's plug. Uh, Why not? Speedrunning Discord. Uh, join the Pikmin Speedrunning Discord. Mm -hmm. They're the <laughs> I mean, I'm biased, of course, but they're the best community. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Super nice um, people all around. Yeah. We'll welcome you. That's right. Follow yeah. me on Twitch and donate to ESA. 
Please do. I was about to say a long time ahead, but that's mm. us, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's literally it. I mean, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for having us. Sick. So.